In my previous videos, I programmed TEA5767 Digital FM Receiver Module using C++ and libraries. In this video, the FM receiver is programmed in assembly to play different FM stations. For you. Back into the music coming up in minutes here. Good morning. You're listening to Taz and Jim. Digital FM receiver module uses ICTEA5767, which is a single chip stereo FM receiver. Digital tuning within the IC is based on phase lock loop, and through software, the radio can be tuned into European, Japanese, or North American FM bands. It is interfaced to a microcontroller using I squared C connection having a maximum clock frequency of 400 kilohertz and a write read address given here. A block diagram of the TEA5767 is shown here. We have at the input the RF signal which is the FM signal which is applied to this low noise amplifier that has an automatic gain control circuit. The output of the LNA is fed into a mixer that gives us at the output a signal at intermediate frequency of 225 kHz. The intermediate frequency signal is then fed into a demodulator which uses phase lock loop to extract the audio signal. The demodulator has a external reference clock signal running at 32.768 kHz. The output of the demodulator is then fed into a stereo decoder that will give us at the output of the IC the left and right channels of the stereo signal. The soft mute circuit is used to attenuate noise in weak audio signals. The digital FM receiver is programmed by a microcontroller using I squared C protocols. This is the write protocol and this is the read protocol. In the write protocol, microcontroller begins with the start condition and then it will write 5 bytes in this sequence byte 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and then we have the stop condition and in the read protocol, the microcontroller will read also 5 bytes byte 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 the definition of these bytes will be explained in the next clip this is byte 1 and this is byte 2 from the write protocol. The mute bit, when set, will mute the left and right audio channels. The search mode bit, when set, will allow the device to search for FM stations. These bits here and the byte in byte 2 is the 14-bit phase lock loop word. So this is the high byte and this is the low byte. This 14-bit value represents the frequency of the FM station. We use this equation to calculate the 14-bit phase lock loop value. FRF is the frequency of the FM station. FIF is the intermediate frequency at 225 kHz and the F reference is the external clock frequency at 32.768 kilohertz. This equation is for high side injection. If we want to calculate for low side, we replace the plus with a minus. As an example, we want to calculate the 14-bit PLL word for FM station 101.3 megahertz. This is the calculated decimal value. This is the 14-bit binary value. And this is the hexy value. And these are hexy values for two more stations. This is byte 3 of the write protocol. This bit here search up or down. When the value is 1 then the search is upwards otherwise the search is downwards. These two bits here determine the search stop level which is actually the sensitivity of the search. So we have three levels 5, 7 and 10. 5 is used for low sensitivity and 10 is used for high sensitivity. If the search capability is disabled, then the value is 00. 
This bit here will determine whether we have high or low side injection. A value of 1 means high side injection. This bit here will determine whether we have mono or stereo signal. A value of 0 means stereo, a value of 1 means mono. This bit here will mute the right audio channel and this bit here will mute the left audio channel. This bit here is the software programmable port 1 and in this video will be assumed logic don't care so a value of 0 will be assigned. This is byte 4 and this is byte 5 of the write protocol. This bit here is for the software programmable port 2. Again, we assume logic don't care. This bit here is the standby. If set, we'll put the device in standby mode. This is the band limit bit. A value of 0 means we have US European bands. Otherwise, a value of 1 means Japanese bands. This bit here, coupled with this bit here, will determine the clock frequency of the phase lock loop. The external clock used here is 32.768 kHz, so a value of 0, 1 is chosen. These three bits here are filters which are used to improve the quality of the audio signal. This is the soft mute. When enabled, will improve the signal-to-noise ratio of the audio signal. This is the high cut control. When enabled, we'll apply a low pass filter which will cut off the high frequency components of the audio signal. This is the stereo noise cancelling, which is used to uh, force the stereo signal into mono when the signal is weak. And finally, this is the search indicator, which in this video will be assumed logic don't care. Finally, this bit here in byte 5 is the de-emphasis time constant. A value of 0 means we choose 50 microseconds for European and Asian bands, and we choose 75 microsecond for the Americas. Now we look at the 5 read bytes. We begin with byte 1. This bit here is the ready flag. It will be set when a station is found. This is the band limit flag. It will be set when the end of the FM band has reached. These bits here and the bits in byte 2 represent the 14 bit of the PLL word value. In byte 3, this bit here indicates whether we have a stereo audio signal or a mono signal. These 7 bits give us the IF counter value. These four bits determine the level of the audio signal, and we have 16 levels, level 0 to 15. These three bits here are 0, which indicate the chip identification number, and the rest of the bits are not used. A circuit diagram of the implemented system is shown here. We have the FM receiver module connected to the Arduino using I2C connection. We have two push buttons connected to two digital pins. This button is used to turn on or off the standby mode, while this button is used to change the FM station. We press the station button to exit standby mode and play the first station. We press the button again to play the second station. We press the button again to play the third station. We press the button to go back to the first station and then we press the standby button to enter the standby mode. Inside the assembly code, the first thing we want to do is to program the TEA5767 in standby mode. So this is the hexy value for byte 1, which will mute the device and the PLL high byte is 0. And this is byte 2, which will set PLL low byte to 0. And this is the hexy value for byte 4, which will put the device in standby mode. Then we call this function so that we can send the bytes to the TEA5767. Inside subroutine write bytes, we begin by sending the start condition, and then we 
send the write address of the TA5767 and then we send the uh, the first byte that will mute the FM station and uh, set the PLL high byte to zero we send the second byte which will set the PLL low byte to zero and then we send the third byte that will set the device in high side uh, injection and the mono will be on then we send the fourth byte that will put the device in standby mode and then we send the fifth byte that will set the de-emphasis time constant to 75 microsecond and then we end the transmission with the stop condition and uh, jump to label again at label again we check the status of the station button if not pressed then we check the status of the standby button if not pressed then we jump to again and the process continues until one of the buttons is pressed at subroutine playstation we check the value of the counter if it is equal to one then we jump to label station one if the value of the counter is two then we jump to station two if the counter value is three then we jump to label station three inside subroutine station one we increment the counter by one and then we check the count value is it equal to four if not then this hexy value will program the byte one which will set the PLL high byte and this hexy value will give us byte two which will give us the PLL low byte and this would assign the FM station 101.3 and this hexy value will give us the fourth byte which will disable the standby and turn on the filters to improve the quality of the audio signal and then we send the bytes to the device if station 2 is selected then we send the bytes needed to play that station and if station 3 is selected we send the bytes needed to play that station after incrementing the counter if the value of the count is 4 then we jump to this label where we will reset the counter to a value of 1 and then we jump to this label where we continue sending the bytes for the station in a future video the assembly program will be modified so that FM station data be read from the device such as frequency signal level and so on and display it on LCD screen thank you for watching